Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily transfer your Figma themes to WordPress. So let's get started. First, here you can see your uh, Figma dashboard. You can choose uh, the template from here. You can also search on any template you want from here. However, I'm just going to go with this Figma Basics theme. I will click on it. And here you are. So to start uh, building up your own uh, your own uh, website, you need to go to this top left corner and choose plugins, manage plugins, then search for uh, Figma to WordPress. And here is our plugin. Click on it. And now it has been loaded. So just insert your uh, email, press on start now, and here you are. So uh, I have already uh, created my own Figma URL before, so all what I need to do is to just press on create your own website. Great. And now you need to link between uh, the elements here and your uh, word uh, and your Figma to WordPress window. By the way, if you ha you are having an issue uh, building up your own Figma URL, all what you need to do is to just press on one of these uh, themes. I prefer this frame, and it will automa automatically generate an, a, a URL for you. So all what you need to do is to just press on create. And once you create it for the first time, it will be always there so you will not have to create it each time so now you need uh, to choose or link between the main page and one of these elements so let's just uh, delete this one and start from scratch so it has been removed so I will now start creating my own main page so you have some elements here you can decide what is your main page and obviously we will choose this frame because this is the landing page in all of these elements so by clicking on it you will find that this option has been enabled uh, press on it and your main page has been enabled so you can also add any uh, elements or, uh, or add any more pages by clicking on the plus sign sorry by clicking on by first clicking on the L, the page here so if you want to add a product page for example choose this page and you will find add another page so you can press here and it will ask you about the type of the page whether it's a post page or a normal page just select it as a normal page and you will find it added to your uh, figma to wordpress window so by choosing our pages we can now press on continue and now it will ask you whether you want to, to use the yeah, Utaku uh, AI Assistant. I will not use it for this tutorial. And now it will ask you whether you want to add elements like header, fo footer, uh, forms, and so on and so forth. You can add all of these by the same uh, method or by the same steps by choosing, uh, for example, the header from here and you will find it enabled so you will just click on it and you will press on continue however i will not add any of these elements for this tutorial and i will just continue so so by pressing on continue he will give you a, a warning message that you you are missing a wordpress elements because we did not add header or footer so if you added added them you will not find uh, this message en enabled i didn't add them because it's not uh, the topic, uh, our topic today, our topic is to just convert uh, your Figma into WordPress. So I will just start the, the basic uh, website. So continue without selecting. And now it shows you a quick preview of what you decided your, uh, your website to be. So our website is going to be two pages, a home page and product page. That's only uh, all our elements. So just press continue and it will, it's going to be created. It takes about a minute or less. 
here you can fill uh, these uh, cells um, as a feedback, but it's, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, building your own website. It's just a feedback for uh, Figma. So uh, I guess this is going to take a minute or two. So I will just pause my tutorial now and I will go back for you when it's done. Be right back. And voila, it, your, uh, your website has been built. So you can now go to the preview. It's currently building. Almost there. And here it has been built. So you can preview your, in, your own website. This is what you have built. And now to the final stage, you can also, by the way, choose the screen size from here. Now, uh, if you are, if you have subscribed uh, to uh, uh, Figma, you will find that you can download. However, since we are on a free plan, you will not be able to download your website now. So uh, these are their pricing plans. If you are interested in downloading your own uh, website as a zip file, you can choose your own uh, plan from here and you can download your website. What, uh, what can downloading a website help us? This help you in the next step, which is the integration between uh, Figma and uh, WordPress. So by going to WordPress, you choose appearance here, then choose themes. Here it offers you uh, dozens of themes that are pre-designed. However, we are not interested in selecting a theme from WordPress now. We are interested in installing our theme that we created in uh, Figma. So let's go to install new theme. And here you will find the option to upload your zip file. So if you are, uh, if you subscribed to uh, Figma, you can download your own zip file and uploaded here and hence you have made the integration between Figma and converted it to WordPress. So that was basically it. That's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.